recently, a friend of mine sent me a video from a, uh, of a guy talking about why um, uh, Christians may or may not want to vote for Trump. And uh, one of the things he said is that he often hears that it's it's a matter of abortion, right? So it's the abortion thing. So I have, I'm going to vote for him because he's against it. And the other people, they for it. And I can't be for someone who's for that. And so I'm going to be for someone who's again, who's against what I'm, what I'm against. And in that particular case, it's the idea of abortion. And the priest goes on to talk about, well, if you're a Christian, I really want you to rethink this. And he goes on to talk about what some of the things that Jesus talks about in the gospel and some of the things that, that Jesus focuses on in the gospel. And he says, you know, this isn't it, right? The, this isn't, this isn't one of Jesus's chief, chief concerns. And for what it's worth, I've heard this same thing myself. Uh, the guy's name is Father David, if you want to check him out. Father David. Anyhow, as I was listening to him, as I was listening to him um, give his talk, and it was only short, it's only like three or four minutes, um, one of the things that popped into my brain was, okay, well, let's move beyond just, just the abortion issue. Let's move beyond. Um, because a lot of Christians, for example, um, for example, Rebecca just mentioned all those different things that, that people seem to be, you know, the Christians who are, who are all about gun rights, or the Christians who are all about getting rid of same gender marriage. And for the Christians who are all up in arms about, about, uh, transgender individuals and, and for the Christians that are, that are all up in arms about awokeism or, you know, uh, diversity, equity, and equality, um, inclusion, excuse me. So, you know, it's, it seems like go on YouTube, go on Instagram, go on, on whatever social media platform you like, you're going to find a Christian who's against something or who's up in arms about something or who's trying to protect something that, wow, it's like Jesus never really, huh? What? I don't, I don't quite understand. And, and after thinking about what, what Father David had said, and, and, and again, moving beyond just that one issue and, and thinking about all the things that, that Christians seem to get really riled up about, I, I thought, what if, we, what, if we, what, if we, what if we ratioed out our time, all right? So I'm awake 16 hours a day, just roughly. I'm awake 16 hours a day. I work, I don't know how much I work, but let's say I, I'm awake 16 hours a day. Now, over the course of that 16 hours, I have so much time that I can commit to my community. And the more, the better, right? The more you can commit to your community, the better. Or, or even the amount of time that I give to an issue or, or the amount of energy I give to an issue. What if, what if we doled out our time and our, and our treasure and our talent, our energy? Uh, what if we doled all that stuff out? What if we doled out our outrage the things that we're outraged about or, or the things that we're, we're happy with. What if we did that according, in, in the same ratio, in the same percentages as Jesus spent teaching about it? What would Christians end up spending a lot of time focusing on? What would we spend a lot of time focusing on? What would we stop focusing on? How many times did Jesus feed people? It's a big one. How much time did Jesus spend building trusting relationships with people? How much time did Jesus spend with people that other religious figures would never have spent time with? As a matter of fact, other religious figures condemned Jesus for spending time with them. How much time did Jesus talk about a forgiving, loving God? How much time did Jesus tell us to, how many, how many times, how much time did Jesus spend teaching about building up for ourselves treasures in heaven and, and working towards the betterment of our community and the betterment of the people around us? How much time did Jesus talk about getting rid of hatred and, and anger? How often did he tell us about, about forgiving? How much time does he spend condemning people? Who does he condemn? I think, I, th- I think this would be a really 
interesting study. Now, I've not actually gone out and, and read the Gospels and said, okay, well, there's X amount of words in there, and so many words are, so many of these words are dedicated to this particular issue or to that particular issue. But I think maybe Christians would, would be able to build up for themselves a better reputation. We'd be able to build up for ourselves a, a better reputation. We'd be able to build up for ourselves uh, more, more brownie points with the public <laughs> if we focused on the things that Jesus focused on. If we gave our time and our treasure and our talents proportionally to, in, in the same way that Jesus gave out his time, treasure, and talents. I think we'd, we'd earn for ourselves lots of, lots of praise from the public. I think we'd, we'd probably earn for ourselves lots of credit from the public. We'd probably earn our, ourselves a pat in the back from the public from time to time. Maybe they'd be a less afraid of, maybe they'd be less afraid of us. Maybe they'd be less weary of us. Maybe they'd be more trusting of us. Maybe they'd be willing to listen to us when we talk about God. Maybe they'd be willing to talk, listen to us when we talk about our faith. Maybe they'd be willing to listen to us when we ask them to join us in, in helping around our community and in our neighborhood. Maybe they'd be less hesitant in, in dismissing us as charlatans, as, as greedy profiteers, as, as people who are taking advantage of, of vulnerable individuals. Maybe they'd see us um, in, in a more positive light, focus on the things that Jesus focused on, answer people in the way that Jesus answered them, provide for the people that Jesus asked us to provide for, save our outrage for the people that Jesus saved his outrage for. Jesus never, can't remember Jesus ever saying, the Romans are stepping on our rights. And I can't remember Jesus ever saying, I can't believe that they're taxing me so much that I can't buy that boat. I, I don't remember Jesus talking about abortion at all. I don't believe Jesus ever condemned same gender marriages. I don't believe Jesus ever condemned someone for feeling out of place in their own body. Jesus healed. Jesus spent a lot of time healing people. Jesus spent a lot of time teaching people, people who came to him. Jesus spent a lot of time feeding people. Jesus spent a lot of time with people that nobody, no religious, no religious person wanted to spend time with. I think it's a good idea. Stop worrying about the things that Jesus never worried about. Stop condemning things that Jesus never condemned. Save your outrage for those that Jesus shared his outrage with and live the life that Jesus appears to have lived in the Gospels. Anything beyond that's just a waste. Anything beyond that is a waste of the God-given gifts, the God-given treasure, the God-given time that you've been allotted. Amen.